Tonight I'm testing out the CNC machine using my homemade, um, uh, whatever you call it, CNC exerciser uh, uh, pendant, I guess I call it. Basically I have X, Y, and Z axis power on and I want to put a variable resistor in there to adjust the speed. Currently I'm using a signal generator generating 400 hertz. Uh, I only have X and Y controllers installed so far. And I stuck a pen on it to see if I could do a glorified Etch-a-Sketch. Unfortunately, the pen kind of skips a little bit. But anyways, there you go. One, oh, one fancy Etch-a-Sketch. Sounds like I'm running into that trouble with the with the um, Y axis skipping. And the rubber bands aren't holding it very tight, so we kind of get some funniness there. Is that skipping? So there you have it, one fancy etch a sketch. Although I do need to, I'm still skipping on the Y. Oh yeah, got thing turned sideways. The Y axis, oh wow, just stopped altogether. I see, said the blind man. Now try it. The problem is, I think I have too much binding on, the, on that Y axis, and so that binds up and then it skips. Just did it again. Anyways. There you have it. One overgrown etch a sketch. Using my homemade and you know, one hour pendant, but uh, I want to have a 525 that I can control the uh, frequency with. Currently, ouch. there's a Slower speed, even slower, even slower. That was 64 hertz. Here's 32 hertz. Anyways, back up to 500 hertz. Didn't work reliably at 1K. 1K, it, it doesn't know what to do. So 500 hertz. If I do fry something. Oh, my wire came off. I jumpered into the pendant because the 5 to 5 didn't work. There we go, the homemade CNC. We're in another test. This time as a giant etch a sketch. Using uh, what they're called something like T6560 controllers. Homemade pendant. And a single generator to generate the pulses until I can get a 5 to 5 timer working inside the pendant. The Z axis I don't have a controller for it yet, although it is working. I have tested it out using the X axis.
wire came off inside the pendant again. So this concludes this test of the giant touch a sketch. I've got to make some sort of like tool clamp to be able to clamp the tool in there with. And then maybe I can hold the pen in place so I can draw a little bit better next time. Oh. I've also need to put stops in there, huh? So, that's all for tonight. Hopefully soon I'll be connecting it to a computer and actually running some applications.